All right, and welcome back everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube if you're watching this later uh, for our next deck, which is going to be Mardu Vampires. Um, if you're a viewer on YouTube, you may have noticed that I have been take, I've taken the last uh, few days off. I have not streamed the last three days, and that's because my electricity uh, went out. We had a windstorm uh, that knocked out my electricity. I live up on a mountain, so... Uh, Stuff like that can happen, uh, not like down in the city where like the electricity gets back on right away. So that was really unfortunate. So I'm glad y'all are back. Um, Hawkeye's still here. I'm still here. So uh, today we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream that we still have to do from uh, getting our sub goal. Um, last last week, uh, when it was my birthday, uh, about almost two weeks ago now. So we're finally doing that today. Um, and I'm going to be streaming hopefully about every day. Uh, for a while here um, to kind of make up for having the time off. So uh, today, um, I haven't streamed since the Pro Tour, um, which was on Sunday. Um, and uh, so today I have a couple of decks from the Pro Tour that looked cool that I wanted to try out and some other decks from some 5.0s. So our first two decks are the two decks from the Pro Tour that looked kind of cool, uh, both in the 7.3 range. Uh, I don't remember whose decks they were there was a marty vampires and a demir midrange um it wasn't seth manfield's demir midrange it was uh, another player's demir midrange so i want to try the, these two decks um so with this deck i mean absolutely love judith and judith is uh really good with specifically with one drops and finding the right one drops for judith in red and black is is kind of tough so i kind of like this this role of turning to white also to get some more good one drops um to go along with it and vicious conquistador in particular is one that i think is pretty underrated it's basically a two power one drop um you know it's basically a two two as far as a one drop goes and uh even if they have a blocker you can get that that point of damage in um i like this card quite a bit hey best shot um and uh yeah then we get a lord we get legion lieutenant as another lord we have mavern fane this, this deck looks pretty interesting, so let's start the day off pretty aggressive and attacking and see how we go. Hey, charges. Oh, I missed y'all, too. Missed y'all, too. Rough three days without electricity. Um, but I'm back. Oh, I didn't update this. We had one subscriber earlier. So yeah, uh, 1960 pals petting their orange cat too. Good. Hey, Cali commuter. We're back. All right, so we have human shaman for Judith. Good thing our man is good. We don't have to worry too much about it. Let's get the two one in play on turn one. We can attack for a little bit of extra damage there. Hey, thanks, Mike the Mailman. It is, it is good to be back. Certainly missed it. That is... Did a whole lot of nothing over the last couple of days. I just play Arena. Now I don't play Paper anymore. Um, yeah, because I just, I just play here every day. Assuming my electricity's on. They're drawing the third Judith. It's a little awkward. Not exactly what we wanted to draw. Um, next 12 hour stream for the sub goal is forever and ever away now. Uh, lost about 200 subs. Um, since the Christmas stream because of, you know, having all these days of not streaming. So I don't even have that up right now. Um, I, I do, I do need another 12 hour stream just kind of in general though. We are in a rough spot here. I'll be doing another 12 hour stream. Probably Saturday. 
Um, cause we, we got two from my birthday stream. And then of course, every 500 YouTube followers. Will be another one. All right, we we cannot draw any more lands. We just can't. What do we have? A twenty-one land deck. Hmm. Dusk Legion Zella would be a good draw, where Zella can like draw us into another card. Come on. Three lands in a row. Ugh. Four lands in a row. Arena's being mean to me. On the return return to streaming, they're like, "This is what you get for taking three days off or not having electricity." Yeah, Judith is non-token for the for the trigger, the trigger ability. Doom Whisper is a really hard card for us to beat. It's a card that'll end the game quickly. That's a that's a great card for our opponent to have here. Yeah, that's why I was gone. That's why I. I uh, That's why I wasn't um, streaming the last three days. My electricity was out because of the windstorm. All right, so we're playing Sultai with Doom Whisper. Hmm. I don't think we're really supposed to change too much, honestly. I mean, I guess like cast down's probably just better than tribunal. The verge was okay. I, I have a backup generator that I got started the second day, and so the second and third day, I had the backup generator running throughout the day. But all all it did was um, all it did was keep the fridge running it, the fridge and one other outlet so I could plug in like my phone charger is what the backup generator did yeah this list was from the pro tour last weekend uh, it was a seven and three list from the pro tour uh, so that's where the the list and the sideboard and everything came from I don't really want this other tribunal. I don't know, maybe. I mean, I kind of want to play Champion of Dusk, but I don't expect that to kind of happen again. I'll just play it. Duress is like another option, especially after sideboarding. I, I expect our opponent to have a whole lot more uh, spells in their deck. You know, like I expect them to be bringing in cheap sweepers and things like that. It was it was on goldfish. That's that's where I I found it. it was just on goldfish. Hey Duke, you think Conclave's worse than Duress? Yeah, I I could certainly see that. I was kind of debating between those two. Yeah, I just saw it today, because I, I just looked this morning. Well, 
I'm gonna try keeping the one lander since last time we just drew all sorts of lands in a row. You know, hoping that we would draw a land and and we didn't. So pretty poor game of magic to start with. I'm moving on. We are not even beating a couple of one threes at that point. But they just play one explore creature and we are very dead. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster turned on. Forgot to Forgot to turn that on, so let me get that going for you. My bad, Papa Tim. The Abzan Knights was a 5-0 a list from the recent 5-0 deck list dump. All right, and we can name like Shaman here or Human um, with it so we can play Judith next turn. Should I Legion Lieutenant? If our opponent has Deafening Clarion next turn. Just going to be really bad for us either way. Like, I could sit back and try to hold up Unbreakable Formation, but I mean, I got to play one of these first. Yeah, I got to play the Lieutenant first. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would assume that a Jeskai, like a Jeskai player would have Clarion, um, but I could be wrong. Risk Factor is certainly not a card I was expecting to see. Hmm. That was certainly a card I was not expecting to see at all. I really hope that they don't have Clarion. If they don't have Clarion here, we're like, you know, very, we are very likely to win, but they do have Clarion, we are very likely to lose. So that's the game. Do they have Clarion, yes or no? Because even if they have it later, we'll have the formation up for later. And we'll be able to flip landing. All right, no Clarion. And if they're like a counter burn deck, that is really bad against all these 2 1 lifelinkers. Because, like, the risk factor just does, you know, nothing. Taking four damage is, is nothing for us. Show remorse, I'll show restraint. Reverse. 
Um. Yeah, I'll just attack. I kind of want to play the Mavern Fane because I just I just never get to play Maver Mavern Fane. But we don't really need to play another card. Our opponent's dead. Okay, let's get all these duresses in. Take all the tribunals out. Champion of Dusk. Um, seems like a reasonable card. Draw some extra cards. Um, we don't need the cast down. What are three other cards we want to take out? Duskward, the Sky Marcher doesn't seem super impressive. I kind of like Unbreakable Formation. And what about Luxodon, though? Luxodon may be a little... No, let's just take out oh, Sky Marcher. Yeah, our opponent could sideboard in creatures. It's certainly it's certainly possible they have, like, Lyra Dawnbringer. Um, I think I'll, um, I'll cross that bridge, uh, game three if we, like, lose to a Lyra Dawnbringer. I guess I could play, like, one, I guess I, I could play a Binding over this Marshall. So that I can just take out, like, a Teferi if need be, or, or, like, a Lyra. I think I like that more than Mortify, because it can take out a Teferi. You think they're bringing in Deputies and Sweepers? That's not a good combination. Playing playing Deputy and playing... Like, you don't want to play Deputy when you're playing Sweepers, right? Like, you don't want your... You don't want to, like, Deputy something and then kill your own Deputy. Hey, BVB. Hey, DJ Polyb. Uh, my Electricity was out because of a windstorm. Um, so this is the third land for Mavern Fane, but it's not a red source. Let's ship it to the bottom. Drawing the five drop is not what I want to draw whenever I just put the land on the bottom. Huh. Enigma Drake. I don't want to take the risk factor because it gives the Enigma Drake one power. Oh, it's only non-token vampires. I guess that's why I don't play the card very much. Uh, off to work. All right, have a good day at work, DJ Polly B. This Champion of Dust could draw us a whole lot of cards. I'm glad I put that land at the bottom now, though, because we still haven't found the red source yet. Um, and we've been drawing some other lands. 
<laughs> yeah, the risk factor against our, our lifelink doesn't doesn't help out it nearly as much. Okay, um, how many cards do I actually want to draw? So I can I can play the champion right now. Hey, glitch! Thank you so much for that sub there. Welcome to the stream. So I can I can play the champion right now and make it five. I can wait till after attackers and make it six. I can at attack first and have one of these things die and then make it five. Let's go on a good, let's go attack first. I want to attack with these lifelink things. So we'll make it five. Hmm. So if I play Chapel Landing, then I have to shock next turn for Judith. That's probably fine. Hope they haven't found Deafening Clarion still. Sorry, I'm late. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Hmm. Kind of want to play Venerate Luxon, but not gonna. Oh, I should have... Uh, that's fine. Still the same. I'm, I'm planning on activating... So I was planning on activating Adanto, the first four, at their end step uh, anyway. But I guess we're not going to do anything with that one mana, so it's all good. Hey, Gatsby. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been been pretty rough three days there, track team. Haven't... Uh, I've, my electricity's been out the last three days because of the windstorm uh, on Sunday night. It's been rough, but according to plan. we're back. So, Gatsby, you have a, a deck for me to play, uh, the Biomancer's Familiar deck. When when would you like me to play that deck? Do you want me to play it today? You know, I, I can basically play it whenever you want, you know, so I'll play it up next if you want. Um, you know, you're one of three people that have a donation deck that I want to play whenever, whenever you want. Today's forecast is cloudy chance of me winning sub number three on the day coop cram welcome back for the 12th month thank you so much all right maybe later four to five eastern ish okay let's rally at two And this should be lethal. Just attack all these vampires at them. They can block one, but they are taking eight. They're at eight. And we are on the board. One and one. All right, so four to five Eastern. Let's see, it's at like... 11.30 right now. Let's put you in... One, two, three, four... 
probably after the we'll put you in right after gruel stompy so it's that should be good there okay one one <laughs> so we just we're just one and one now um, lost to Sultai a couple of kind of non games drew all lands game one had no lands game two and then we had a pretty convincing win there against uh, Jeskai control hey schmuck we doc welcome back y'all it's good to be back Also, that record thing must check Magic Online. I know. Sonic Vbob, hey. Yeah, it's it's been... Um, keep. It's been an unfortunate three days there without power. Yeah, I'll be doing a 12-hour stream today make up for missing the last few days and I've owed two 12 hour streams also so I start at 11 a.m. be going to 11 p.m. All right, so I'm not going to cast down the gutter bones here, but there could be cer there could be something that I wanted to cast down here on turn two. Okay, well there's not. So I'm going to have to shock in the Mavern Fane now. Um, but I liked keeping up the uh, possibility of having the cast down there. Hey, thanks, Matthew Ori. It's good to be back. Danto Vanguard. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and Lux it on this turn. We're at 14. Which I think is going to be a, a good enough life total. So we'll attack with the Sky Marcher. Um... The Duskborn to be able to make. We'll attack with this, make another token with Mavern Fane. That's five creatures. Um, and then cast Luxodon. It does mean the Luxodon's our only defense for the turn. But I think that's okay. Especially having two 3 3 life linkers over here. Yeah, Dustborn uh, is an evasive creature uh, for the Mavern Fane trigger, absolutely. And then can also just make attack, make, sorry, blocking difficult with that ability. Um, when you have kind of like a gummed up board and like you attack with like some different tokens and like, you know, you can pump whatever token they block kind of thing. <clears throat> it's a lot more useful in you know, like limited games usually, but uh, of course you don't usually get to draft as many vampires in limited. But, um, you know, can work in constructed games as well. Yeah, this was, this is a uh, turn four. We played the Mavern Fane on turn three. We, we didn't have a land drop, but this is our turn four. Well, Conclave Tribunal was awesome. Perfect timing on the Conclave Tribunal there.
All right. Um, I feel like it's that Arena Competitive is on par with Magic Online. Um, how do I feel about the mana base of this deck? It hasn't been great, no, but hasn't been hasn't been too bad for us. Um, besides, like our match, you know, so far I've only so this is our that was game number five. So we're going into game number six. So so far we've had two games out of the six where we just didn't either drew all lands or no lands, but we haven't had really any, too much trouble with colors so far. Uh, Teji. Thanks for the resub there for the second month. Welcome back. Yeah, Parappa, we are good to go. Uh, it was a rough few days, but we're back. Let's see. Lyra coming in. Hmm. I'm not sure what's not good. I can see us just being behind and not like the unbreakable formation not really doing much. It is good. It's a great card at parity. Um And I guess maybe the Zealots or the Mavern Fanes. I'll take out a couple Zealots. Um. Yeah. So this is this is a list from the Pro Tour. So it's so the card decisions weren't my own, but a card like Unbreakable Formation, the first copy. Like, you know, having one copy of that card uh, makes a lot of sense. The, the first copy is usually just really, really good. Um, you know, it's usually a game-ending type of card. Uh, it's not a card that you want to be drawing a lot of. Um, and I guess this deck is saying... with The other thing that only having one copy is saying is that you don't necessarily need it to win games. It's not a necessity to draw. Yes, Champion of Dusk uh, counts itself in the trigger. So at the very least, even if you have... Um, hmm. Even if you have no other uh, creatures on the battlefield, you'll still draw one card with Champion of Dusk. No other vampires, that is. Opponent kept a one lander there that time. And didn't get there. We did that one earlier. I can relate. I can relate to that. Alright, two and one. Yeah, which this this one won vampire. Is the one that Yeah, so why is this one one vampire considered good? It's it's really that it's just synergistic with um You know, like if you weren't playing a bunch of vampires, you wouldn't want to play this, but playing a bunch of vampires. For example, you, we saw we've seen um Healer's Hawk. Uh, see a decent amount of play, and um, you know, Healer's Hawk is a one-one flying for one as well. Uh, the difference is with Healer's Hawk, you get the Life Link. With Dustborn Marcher, it's a vampire, so it can trigger Mavern Thane. Um, all right, certainly want that Adanto 
transformed. Um, and then you can also kind of make uh, combat a little messy with its pump ability. Alright, we're naming Shaman with the un Unclaimed Territory in case we draw. Um, the Judith. Hey, what's up, Mike? <clears throat> um, so I don't think I'm going to play anything else. I'm going to just lose this Adanto the first port. I was trying to think if I wanted to do anything with that Adanto before, with that, like, with that one mana before we lost it, but I don't think so. So I'm going to wait till end step to be able to activate Adanto uh, in case that there's, like, a Ritual of Soot here. Yeah, you can name Human for Judith as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't think any of these things are humans, though. I, I don't think it matters. So I, like, I like naming Shaman myself. Out of the two. I think it's just more likely that there's like a vampire shaman uh, than, you know, there's not going to be a, a human vampire, right? So naming human really tips off that there's something else going on. Where if I just named Shaman, who knows? Our opponent could be playing the Grixis control deck that we're going to be playing later. Because that Grixis control deck has chemistries inside in it. So playing, if I play Venerate Luxodon, even though Ritual of Set doesn't kill Venerate Luxodon, it does tap me out and, and doesn't let me get the the creature vampire at end step and that's what i was trying to do is just just continually uh leave that ability open to get the creature at end step and plus with our opponent waiting until end step to um so the other thing is our opponent waited till end step to, to chemistry's inside i thought it was definitely possible that they had like a a brass's contempt in hand and didn't really want to contempt anything on the battlefield but if we just play a venerate luxodon they just get to use their contempt on the Luxodon and can untap and, and soot. Um, and, you know, we don't get the ability to play the 1-1. One, one. Didn't really see a reason to play a Venerate Luxodon. I, I think that having the activated ability from Adanto the First Fort was the best option to us. All right, let's get these Duresses and Champions and do the same kind of sideboarding we did last time. We'll get one Binding in. I'm going to take out Tribunal cast down um and then the sky marchers yeah let's do that i wonder if i should be trimming venerated luxodons i'm gonna do i'm gonna trim two of those for two conclave tribunals uh, with, our, with us playing against Grixis, our opponent's likely going to have, you know, Thief of Sanity is kind of whatever, um, but, you know, they'll likely have stuff like Nicol Bolas, uh, Doom Whisper, maybe cards like that that will be difficult to get through. Lear comes in against aggro decks. Coil and Fungal Infection. Zelts are a really good card in this matchup. Just, you know, it's just good against control decks of just, you know, having bodies that replace themselves.
Oh, take a zealot, take a zealot. Dang. I was hoping they'd take a zealot. I think our opponent definitely could have waited a turn on the hostage taker. Um, like if I'm if I'm in their slot, I'd prefer to use like the lava coil or something else like that. Cause oh, okay, they didn't have the fifth mana. That makes sense. Um, uh, shaman, brush wag. Um, because I think it's nice to be able to play the, the hostage taker and take the thing right away. This is certainly working out for him though. The ritual set was awesome. Hey, back team. All right, we have a third of our lands. Hoping to draw zero lands the rest of the game. It's not a land. Not too impactful of a card, but it's, you know, it's better than a land. So one more mana and they can flip Nicol Bolas. Ritual of Soot, still good against me. I liked the previous game more whenever our opponent didn't have any Ritual of Soots. To this game where they have a lot of them. Beat me. Just try it. This is gonna hurt. Guess I'm technically not dead yet. The search for the unknown. That's real science. Think some drill bits in the deck? I could see that. Okay, um, let's get that other Conclave Tribunal in here. I don't think I like these Luxodons. We didn't see them play anything that kills a Lyra. That doesn't mean I want to play Lyra, though. Hmm, maybe I'll play one Lyra over a Luxodon. Ral is advice where I can kill a Lyra, and so I guess a Hostage Taker can, kill, can take it too. Hmm, I just don't really want Venerate Luxon. Maybe I just play another one drop. Or I get a Mortify in there. So I think yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm going between Sky Marcher and Mortify. Um Let's go with a Mortify. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I saw that that one Borderland Ranger, that Selesnya deck. I 
I need to change that plug. We just can keep the door not dying to fungal infection is certainly good. It seems like my opponent has fungal infection uh, for how like that was stopping and everything. Yep, they had fungal infection. They also had carnival. They do not have lands, though. I should probably take <clears throat> either fungal infection or carnival. I guess it's going to be fungal infection. So they can't double, can't play both of those and kill a conquistador. Their hand has a lot of good cards in it. But they don't have the mana. Our hand has a lot of mana in it. <laughs> and not very many good cards in it. Vicious Conquistadors, getting work done. Good old two toughness. <laughs> their hand, like everything in their hand costs four mana. Um, I guess I, I guess I sh should be thinking about, like, if I should keep cards in my hand because a Carnage could make me discard two, but I don't think our opponent's going to cast a Carnage. Right? I don't know. I'll keep the Sacred Foundry in hand. Uh, I was hoping that was a Shockland. So they should be playing Hostage Taker. That'd be my guess. Oh, also for Bolus, yeah, that's a good point. Bolus just makes it make would make me just discard a card anyway. Oh wow. Well, rip. New Conquistador. Yeah, those are all good two drops. No land, no land, no land. Alright, good, no land. Not sure if I should be playing that land. They're gonna carnage. Ugh. Yep, Ral kills my conquistador, and it's looking you really bad for us. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Well, we drew three Vicious Conquistadors and one Legion Lieutenant for creatures. And almost got there, but not quite. 
now they have so many cards, it's gonna be hard for us to win. <clears throat> hey, Glow! Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there, Glow. That's sub number five on the day, and y'all know what that means. That means it's pack time. Already gonna be cracking open a pack here after this match. Yeah, we're a 21 land deck. This is some real flood. We discarded a land also, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Choose wise. So almost half of our lands. Bye bye. Nine out of seventeen. That's pretty rough. We don't have any haste things, do we? That's a good draw. That's what we need. We need bodies that get us more bodies. So Zealot's a good one. You know, Zealot just dies to Carnival. Still gets us another card. Hey, what's up, boot? Not looking good. They're just taking some card over Ritual of Sit. Like over the best card possible against us. We don't we don't have a Danto in the deck. Honestly, there's no Adanto Vanguards in this deck. There's Legion's Landing that flips to Adanto, the first fort, if that's the Adanto you mean. Placeholder subtype 1. Hmm. That's a, that's a weird creature type. that <laughs> hope we get something new <laughs> like what creatures are placeholder subtype one Changelings? Yeah, there you go. Changelings are, are placeholder subtype ones. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a new one. I've seen a lot of creature types in my day. Ugh, haven't seen that one. That's a new one. When you target spells on the stack in the game, it has weird names for, like that, for them like that, too. Huh. Are you a creature type placeholder one? Maybe that thing, that little birdie was. Or placeholder subtype one. Couple conquistadors didn't get there. They almost did. They did a great job. Wow. Just right in our face. The card that our opponent had to kill us. Cry the Carnarium. 
That's our reward. Just right in our face. All right, got a thousand gold, twenty gems. All right, we got a pack to get here for getting to our five subs. Let's crack open a Rivals of Ixalan pack. We'll see if we get that fourth Storm in the Vault. Nope, Paladin of Atonement. Not quite yet. It's a vampire, though. That's what we were doing with our deck. So, uh, last thing here about Mardu Vampires. Um, the deck felt fine. I think this is generally a pretty good deck against control. Um, you know, you can't do much about flooding out and, and things like that. Um, I think this would be a... Like, overall, this deck seems kind of underpowered for defeating something like Sultai. I would I would think that that would be kind of a tough choice, or a tough like deck to beat uh, with Sultai. Um, overall, I think we'd be okay against Grixis decks, but, you know, we'd just flood it out real hard there, that third game. Um, so... Hey, TJ Chaos. It's going really good. Uh, yeah, Dusk, Duskborn is just, an, it's just a one-drop that, you know, it's a vampire. We saw it do some work for us against, um, like, when we played against another Mardu aggro deck where they had creatures on the ground, our Duskborn got to attack in the air and make a token with, with Maverin Fane. You know, like, to be able to take advantage of Maverin Fane, you certainly need to be attacking, and you need to attack with non-token Vampire, so Duskborn is, is another flyer uh, that helps you do that. Um, so yeah, it's a good pairing there. Um, also being a flyer, uh, it helps whenever Judith increases the power, so it's like a two-power flyer. When Venerate Luxodon increases the power, um, Unbreakable Formation can do that as well. Uh, but, you know, making a bigger... You know, it's... Flying is just a, a really good uh, keyword. We've seen how good Mono Blue is because of, like, their flyers. So... Hey, Mr. Crow. So there we go. There's Marty Vampires. All right, so if you're watching this uh, video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.